Okay, so hello everybody, it's Jeb Beauty 87 here, and today we are going to do another battle of the brand situation. This time we're going to put Persona Cosmetics lip glosses up against those of colors lip glosses. I know last time I did Kirsten Dominique's um, brand versus um, Persona's brand, so I figured this time we do some those of color situation. And I realize now I don't have a mirror, so. Hold please while I get a compact so we can start this video off. Um, let me know how you feel about this background. This is, as you can see, where I normally film the video. And as you can see, you're getting a sneak peek of the next video that will go up. Because, I mean, not the next video will go up. I think this goes up like two weeks from now because I'm going on vacation the week after next. So I'm going on vacation the week of the 8th. But um, let's get started. Oh, so I have the Peach Gloss by Persona Cosmetics and then I have On Repeat by those Colors. As you can see they're not exactly the same color but like they're close enough to where you know you should be able to swing it um, or it'll be close enough to where it doesn't matter. So I'm going to swatch Peach on my hand and then we're going to swatch Sonas and see and we're going to swatch um, Anne's and see the difference. I like well we're not going to talk about what I like right away just upon me already having used both of these but um, I like the applicator on both of them. Um, and as you can see, Sona's look. Uh, sorry, Jesus, not Sona's. Um, Anne's is a little more pigmented than um Sona's, as you can see. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put. I guess we'll put Anne's on this side and we'll put Sona's on this side. And then we'll kind of you know talk about the formulas and things of that nature and all that good stuff there. So, just using this um Fenty Compact to try this out. Let me see if you can. can Y'all see you okay? Since no one is here to look. At the back and let me know if I'm in focus and all. And I have to kind of just wing it and hope I got it right. So let's pray I got it right. I don't know when this is going to go up. But, um. Okay, so you got Sona's half. I'm sorry, Anne's half done. Let's clean up the excess. Oh, and if you want to see this pride eye look situation right here, I um went ahead and did that on, um, IGTV today so if you want to check that out like you're not going to see this obviously on June the 30th when I shoot this but um if you want to check out the eye look you can go to IGTV it'll always be up there I don't delete any of my IGTV videos so it'll be there um now we're going to take and we're going to take Sona's color peach and put it on this side and like I said we'll talk about the formula and the ups and downs and all that now as we can clearly see Sona's is Sheerer than um, ants. And I'm trying to make sure I don't contaminate. So, this is Sona's side, this is Anne's side. And you have seen the swatches. Okay, so let's get down to the business about the formulas and the prices and all that good stuff there. I believe both of these retail for. $18. Um, I just bought um, Sona's new set, the corals and the other one, but let me just type in Persona real quick and check out the price of these glosses. Okay, so the trio, which is what I bought, is um, $36 for um, this trio right here with this one, the toffee one and the honey one. And the um, lip gloss itself is $16 and the new um, set I bought was... Um, $24. So I got the pink one and the coral one. That's the new set that she has coming out. I haven't bought any of Ann's new ones yet and we're about to get into why. Okay. So in this battle, I know y'all think I'm just being biased, but I'm really not. Like I like Sona's um, lip glosses better than those of colors. And you think I like those of colors better because I love pigmented glosses, especially when I put a lipstick on. I just want that nice pigment to go over it to make it look even more opaque if you will and give a more juicier feel to the color because I feel like when you have a colored um, um, lipstick on and then you put a gloss that is pretty pigmented on top it just gives it that extra oomph and makes the color pop even more so you would think I would like um, Anne's better than I would Sona's but let me explain why I feel like the formula on Sona's is much thinner and um, easier to wear so I feel like I don't feel like this I don't feel this one on my lips nearly as much as I feel this one on my lips like I can feel this sitting on my lips and I know that's not that big a deal but it's, since you know you want my honest review I'm telling you I like Sona's because the formula is lighter plus I like the shimmers of sparkles this one has in now um Ann does have some that have shimmers of sparkles I mean some sparkles in them like I have another one I forgot the name of it but um this one is on repeat I have a I forgot the name of the other one 
but it has like purplish bluish shimmers I believe in it and it's really nice as well and I like that one it's just if I had to pick based upon formulas I would definitely pick Sona's over Anne's because the form of this is nice and lightweight now this isn't going to get the opacity that I necessarily like but I feel like if you put a um the right lip color on and put this on top it would be a nice combination like yesterday I used um honey and then I put um the OG lip gloss on which is a way that um I think Sona said it's one of her favorite lip combos with her lip products, and I liked it. It looked really nice. Um, my face lasted pretty well all day yesterday, and I had on the True Matte Cover, uh, Cover Girl True Matte, what is it, Blend Foundation or whatever, and then I put the Cover Girl Concealer on from the video I posted up on Friday. So it looked beautiful all combined together, and I had used Sona's um, Copper Palette. I think, I don't know if... I have pictures. I'm pretty sure I didn't take pictures yesterday, so I can't show it to you offhand, but the glosses are beautiful. The formula is beautiful, and I would definitely recommend this one. Now, not to say Anne's aren't good because hers are nice. It's just if you don't mind the heavier formula of it, because since I have them both side by side and I can really tell the difference, I can tell that this is much lighter weight than this one is. So, I mean, I would suggest either one. It depends on what your preference is. If you're more like me and like a more opaque gloss and don't mind the fact that this one is a little bit heavier then you should go ahead and get this one plus these are usually on sale during 21 days of beauty like they always have a dose of colors lip product on sale 21 days of beauty like that's how i ended up with this one as a matter of fact i think it was the spring one of last year or it might have been the spring one uh, no yeah i think it was the fall one of last year i'm not sure i know it was spring or fall of last year than when i got this because they were on sale so i definitely recommend you get it it's just you know, just bear that in mind. This is a little heavier gloss than this one is. This one is super lightweight. It's sparkly. Um, it She has some pretty decent colors. Like, I'm not really that... This is, like, actually my least favorite one. But this was the one that I felt like was closest to that lip color. So, that's why I talked about it. My favorite one is Toffee. That's the darkest brown one. Because, especially since it's summertime, I can put on, like, a new brown lip gloss that goes... I mean, new brown lip that goes good with my skin tone. And then just put that one on top. I wish I had brought it back here. But I didn't have a dose of color ones to match it. Because she did, She just came out with her dark ones, like, recently. Let me know if y'all want to see a video on that. Because I was thinking about getting, like, a couple of the more nudie shades. And trying those out. Because the first nude shade she came out with, I don't feel like, worked well with my skin tone. Like, she has one called Honey, I'm Home or something like that. But that one was, like, I felt a, a little too... I don't know. It was a little too, I guess... As weird as it is to me, it was like cantaloupe type nude. And I was like, that's too orangey type situation for my skin tone. So I wasn't feeling it. But let me know if you all want to see Dose of Colors lip gloss reviews with her new colors against um one of Sona's new colors. And we can try that out. Um, I'm going to go with the Persona Cosmetics lip gloss though because I like that one the best. But um, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.